Good morning, happy Monday. Tim Wilde here. It's very frosty, very cold this morning. It's beautiful, the sun's just coming up behind me. But I want to have a little look at something which you might have heard me cover before in previous years. And um, it's crystal, crystal grids. Now I'm receiving a lot of questions quite recently uh, from, from light workers who are naturally concerned about family members and children and others around them who might not be in the awakened state that, that you would quite like them to be. They're kind of either chugging along at their own pace or they're simply, they haven't even started the motor yet properly or they appear not to have. And well, the, the kind of enduring question is what do I do about these people? How do I, um, how do I kind of deal with them or if their children look after them? Cause it is quite, it's quite a common thing to have children that, that are kind of a, children are naturally very orientated towards kind of spiritual stuff in their, in their, as youngsters, then generally, and I'm not saying across the board, generally speaking, when they hit their teens, they tend to kind of drop the spiritual thing like a hot brick. I know I did. And um, I didn't pick it up again until I was 18 years old. So because uh, this occurs quite naturally because there is a massive soul integration at 16 years old, but also the physical body is growing, it's changing. It goes through one of the biggest met metamorphoses that it will ever do in, in your physical incarnation. So naturally, um, a lot of people are kind of asking, well, what do I do with these, with these younger people? What do I do with these people that are not kind of sharing the the kind of the, the insights and the energies and and the knowledge that you might be on the spiritual pathway and one thing that occurred to me is you know you've heard the old term the an englishman's home is his his castle well that's very kind that's a very generic version of what what i'm going to be talking about today your home is your fortress it's your palace it's the place where you ground your energy it's where you recuperate it's where you you do all of the it, it, it it's your stability pad now one thing that i've always done particularly when you know especially when i moved into the house that i live in 10 years ago um I, I, i'm still living here now but just say for the sake of example, when I moved in here, it was a very old house that got built in 1867 and, and it served as a field hospital in the First World War and it served as a troop station in the Second World War. There was an incredible amount of energy, residual energy within the house, within the land, even within the garden that I'm presenting from now. And one of the ways that I dealt with it was by gridding crystals everywhere. Literally, I've, 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 I've learnt or kind of fine honed what I know <laughs> over the last 10 years in particular by dealing with getting my property 5D how I want it so that it's comfortable for me, it's comfortable for my family and the energies are just right. Now you can do the same very easily within the comfort of your own home, your own workspace, your meditation zone, and you only need five crystals to do it. I'm going to talk I'm going to talk about this at the very simple end of the scale because I know there's many of you that are very acquainted with crystals, you have housefuls of them, you use them every day, but there's also others that are just starting on this pathway that might just be kind of being introduced to the magical world of crystals and it's, I think I was saying it in a live event the other day I don't think I've ever met anybody on the ascension pathway that doesn't like crystals it's a little bit like walking into a tea room and saying who hands up who doesn't like cake you're not going to see any hands are you basically so there we go what I want to do is give an example of a very simple crystal grid that will assist you in keeping your household at a high frequency all the time. Now, at the end of this video, I will include a picture of this very simple grid, crystal grid that I've made. Now, if you follow me verbally, I, I will give you instructions on how to do it if you don't know. So you get your first, you've got five crystals. They don't have to be big, they don't have to be fancy. They can be quite literally 
five pieces of quartz around this sort of size, you know, the tumbler sort of size, or if you don't have any crystals, then you can use stones from your garden. Everything like this holds what I call an energy or a spiritual charge. It's your intention that programs or activates the crystal and the grid into activity. Now, what I will do is I would take the first stone and this would be the stone that I place at the north of the grid. So if you have a crystal now, take it into your take it in your hand. I've got my I've got a little crystal skull with me this morning. So I would activate the first stone for the crystal grid with Archangel Michael's energy. So you hold the crystal in your left hand, close your eyes and just ask Archangel Michael to light the crystal up with the blue cloak of his courage, his energy and his protection and to manifest that energy through the crystal. And that is your first crystal. Okay, and I'd take my second crystal and I'd place that at the south part of the grid at the bottom. So I'd hold that second crystal in my hand, my left hand, and I'd ask Archangel Gabriel to place his diamond energy of purity, of grace, and unity within that south crystal, the second crystal. Ask him to fill it with the diamond ray. And then take your third crystal, which is the crystal that would go on the left hand side or the west. And as you hold this in your hand, you ask Archangel Raphael to light it up and bless it. So with the crystal in your hand, just see Archangel Raphael placing his beautiful emerald light of healing and abundance within the crystal. And then for the fourth crystal on the right hand side, hold it in your left hand, close your eyes and invoke Archangel Zadkiel to light it up with the cosmic diamond violet flame. And just take a few moments to see his energy and his light and his love flooding into the crystal. Now you now have four crystals, one north, one south, one east, one west, or one, two, three, four, all lit up with the energies of four different archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Zadkiel, okay? Now, the fifth and the final crystal that you need for this grid is the center point. The most important part of a crystal grid is there's always a center point. Okay, so for this, for the sake of example, for this, I would take my fifth crystal, I would hold it in my left hand. With my eyes closed, I would now ask Archangel Metatron to anchor his light into this crystal. So just sense and see Metatron's golden orange light lighting up the fifth crystal and then place this directly in the middle of the grid, okay? Now with your eyes closed, you might see the, the, the crystals now linking in with each other. They will link from the outside and they also link to the center point. So what you have now formed is an energy pyramid using crystals. So in your mind's eye, with your eyes closed, Just see the picture of this pyramid with the center point in the middle being the apex or the tip of the roof. And now what you want to do is ask the energy from that grid to now expand out so that it surrounds your entire property. Some of you might have smaller properties, some of you might have larger. The capacity for crystals to expand their energy around in a grid formation is limitless. So just simply using your intention, 
with your hand over the grid or touching the center point, the center crystal, you now ask the grid to expand its parameter until it is surrounding your house. Now this takes a little bit of imagination, a little bit of visualization, or if you struggle with that, simply ask the archangels to do it for you until the grid, the shape of your crystal grid has expanded out and it is surrounding your property. And ask the tip of the sacred geometry to stand above the top of your house, okay? Now your house or your flat or your workspace will be surrounded or cocooned in a geometry of light. Now take an energy that you want to place within your home that will suit you, your children, your family members, the people that you might happen to live with, your partner, your husband, your wife, anything, and fill the grid with that energy. A, a really nice one that is works for everybody, particularly the children like it, is the pink ray of love from Archangel Shamuel. So just take a few moments to just visualize a downpouring of light from the cosmic heart, just gently flowing in via Archangel Shamuel and the cosmic heart and allow this to fill the space that you have created with your crystal grid. And just be aware that this energy, this light, will be a cocoon of high frequency energy for you and your family members, okay? Now just ask the archangels to adjust it so that the energy in there suits everybody, because sometimes if you take energy too high, it can adversely affect people. If it's too low, obviously it doesn't have the effect that you want it to. You are creating a sacred space for yourself and your family members, but you do have the spiritual right to set set energy boundaries so make sure that this is a high frequency space and that the archangels only allow energies of the highest and highest and purest light within the grid space okay so just take a few moments to ask this you can put anything else that you want to into the grid space and you can ask the archangels to remove anything that you don't want in the grid space. So if you don't want other people's drama energies, if you don't want their cords and attachments, if you don't want the inevitable kind of energetic entities that sometimes can come with people that aren't focusing on the higher pathway, then you simply set the boundaries. These, these particular energies are not allowed inside the grid and they will stop at the boundary that you set. So just take a few moments to set this for yourself. Okay, now another thing, another thing that I get asked regularly is how often do I refresh a crystal grid? One, I tend to do it, particularly where I live, once every kind of two or three days. You will know when the energy within your household or your working space is kind of getting a bit funky. And where, because people come and go, energies, uh, energies kind of rise and fall. And, and naturally, we, the, the, with, the, with the movement of of the other kind of almost parallel realms that we sh we share our our universal space with like it, it's you're going to get energies moving through where you live regardless all the time but if you've set this boundary this stability the sacred geometry around your home it is going to keep it as high frequency as possible so every two or three days just touch the crystals with your, either your finger or another crystals and ask them to reactivate. Ask Archangel Michael or any of the other Archangels to make sure that the grid stays intact and to remind you when it needs refreshing, when it needs setting up again. So this is just a simple geometry using five crystals that you can use to protect your home. Not just protect your home, but just keep it high frequency for yourself and for all of the others around you, okay? And like I said at the end of the video, there will be a picture that I have just used to set up 
a very simple crystal grid. But like I say, the grid doesn't have to be the size of the house. What you do is you just simply ask the grid to expand and project its energies so that they encompass your property. Okay, now Dinah Cooper and I did a couple of extensive workshops on this back in, I think it was 20, the end of 2018 and also the beginning of 2019. So they are within the Zoom archive recordings on my website www.timwild.com but I will include the link for it also at the end of this video. Send you all lots of love, hope the video is easy to understand and I will see you again on Friday. Bye for now.